50 billion naira has been recovered yes matters arising from the embattled minister of humanitarian affairs dr beta edu mm -hmm. the suspended minister has been cooperating yes she has been cooperating and so it is reported that 50 billion naira has been recovered from her you heard what i said 50 billion naira not 50 million naira guys this is massive this is humongous and i ask i beg answer me what was she planning to do with 50 billion naira 50 billion naira what was she planning to do with it only one person only one nigerian embezzled 50 billion naira within a space of about six months to think that this government is not up to one year maybe six months seven months or thereabout and she already stole her god 50 billion naira from the coffers of the government money entrusted in her care money for the poor people money for the downtrodden money meant for the displaced persons where is the humanitarian in her where is the humanity in her and i'm sure that this ministry was assigned to her because it is believed that she has empathy love affection for people after all she is a medical doctor but no dr better i do your face shows love but does your heart yes her face is radiant with beautiful smile she is beautiful but how is her heart callousness wickedness dark evil the greed is unimaginable guys dr beta edu gave a testimony in church about how god answered her prayer and one will think that um she is a christian representing the body of christ what her face shows and what she says with her mouth is different from her actions yes it is you, you know very different all right now let me shock you with this information who is dr beta edu dr beta edu profile will impress you when you see it you will never believe that someone with such a profile with such pedigree would stoop as low as removing deleting the humanity in her you see dr beta edu was born in the united kingdom yes and she only came back to nigeria when she was about eight years old so if you ask me she was not born of poor parents and so when she came back she was sent to one of the best primary schools in calabar and from the primary school she proceeded to uh, the unity school in calabar and from there when she left the secondary school she went to the university to study medicine so she has always been intelligent you know she studied medicine and at 23 she was already a medical doctor guys beautiful profile if you ask me and after her youth service she proceeded to the united kingdom for her masters in public health after her masters she had to conclude her education by going for the highest degree that's the phd in public admin beautiful profile beautiful everything about her you know and um, her friend offered her introduced her to politics when her friend's husband became the governor of cross river state yes ben ayade's wife was her friend and she started by serving as the um you know personal assistant to the governor 
from being a personal assistant she became a commissioner from being a commissioner of course she started lobbying to become a minister and that is what she became a minister of the federal republic of nigeria now at what point because with such profile you know nobody will think that she would be this greedy yes greed nobody will think that she will be this greedy does it mean that she did not have any plan to serve nigeria to be patriotic so her game plan from the beginning was to take her own share of the national cake clean out yes just take as much as you can and clean out that was what she planned to do until she was apprehended guys i do not know what you think about this woman whose face shows love but whose heart is filled with wickedness evil darkness now this um woman who has only stayed for about six months in office stole about 50 billion naira ah if she had stayed for one year maybe she would have doubled it to how much 100 billion ha huh. let me ask again what was she planning to do with this money guys the heart of man is desperately wicked the money meant for poor people she decided to keep everything to herself i do not know whether you saw that video where she was sharing um one thousand dollars to her hairdressers her domestic staff her cook she gave them one thousand dollars each guys of course she can afford to do that because she stole from government the money was not her, her sweat you know guys i don't know what you think about all these things please do drop your comments at the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video if you have not done so thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye